In this video, I'm going to explain variable, fixed, and mixed cost, as well as the relevant range. As you might expect, some costs change and others remain the same. For example, an airline company such as Southwest, right, the longer the flight, the higher the fuel cost, whereas the depreciation of the airplane will remain constant or the same. Variable costs are costs that vary in total directly and proportionately with changes in the activity level. If the activity increases 10%, our total variable cost will also increase by 10%. Whereas if the activity level decreases by 25%, variable cost will also decrease by 25%. Variable costs remain the same per unit at every level of activity. Examples of variable costs include direct materials and direct labor for a manufacturer. That also would include cost of goods sold, sales commission, freight out. It would also include the gasoline in the airline and trucking companies. Right, the best way to illustrate variable cost is um, I selected donuts. I figure everyone can relate to a donut or a dozen donuts. All right, so what I want you to think of is the raw materials, the flour, the sugar, the eggs, the milk. All, right, all the ingredients that goes into making the donuts are a variable cost. The more donuts we make, right, the higher the cost of our raw materials or our direct materials. Total variable cost change as activity level changes. To illustrate, if our production triples from 50,000 dozen donuts to 150 dozen donuts, you can see that the total direct material cost will also triple, going from $55,000 to $165,000. If you look at the graph, right, you can see that the graph starts at zero, Again, so if we produce zero um, donuts, dozen donuts, there is zero cost. And then you can see that that, that um, line is sloping up and towards the right. So as we produce or sell more donuts, you can see that that will also directly and proportionately increase our cost. Variable cost per unit is constant as activity changes. The cost per unit in this illustration, dozen donuts, remains the same or $1.10. If activity triples from 50,000 dozen donuts to 150, the total material cost will triple, but the variable cost per unit will remain the same, in this case, $1.10. Fixed costs are costs that remain the same in total regardless of changes in the activity level. Fixed costs per unit will vary inversely with activity. As volume increases, our unit cost will decline. Examples of fixed costs include property tax, insurance, rent, supervisory salaries, as well as depreciation on our building and our equipment. To illustrate fixed cost, let's assume our facility cost total $200,000 per month. And if you want to think of Dunkin' Donuts or Krispy Kreme, and when you think of those facility costs, I want you to think it includes property tax, depreciation on the building and equipment. Um, it would include our salaries um, for the managers, as well as insurance. Right. Again, whether that um, facility is producing 50,000 or 150,000 dozen donuts, right, that monthly cost will remain the same or uh, $200,000. Right. Let's look at that per unit cost. Right. So the company's facilities cost per dozen item is $4 when 50,000 dozen items are produced or sold, but you can see that that number decreases to $2 when we are selling 100,000 dozen donuts. Again, that math there is we're taking our total cost, or $200,000, and dividing it by that activity, number of units produced, right, to come up with that cost. So you can see that as we produce more uh, dozen donuts, our fixed cost per unit will decrease.
All right, this is a great slide that summarizes everything that we've talked about when it comes to a variable cost. All right, total variable cost will increase and decrease in proportion to changes in our activity level. Our variable cost per unit will remain the same at every level of activity. In the example that we just looked at, right, that dozen of donuts was $1.10, whether we were selling, selling or producing 50,000 or 150. Right. Example of variable cost are going to include our direct materials, our direct labor, our variable manufacturing overhead such as indirect materials and supplies. It will also include cost of goods sold, sales commission, and freight. Whereas our fixed cost, again, they're going to remain the same in total, and that fixed cost per unit is going to vary inversely with activity. Again, as volume increases, our unit cost will decline and vice versa. Examples, common examples of our fixed cost, depreciation, insurance, property tax, rent, supervisory, and administrative salaries. All right, let's take a look at Mighty Muffler, and this is going to be a great way to illustrate fixed cost and variable cost in total, and then to look at them um, from a per unit perspective. So we are given data for um, 700 mufflers being replaced during the month, all right, and you can see that the fixed costs are 56000 at this level of activity. Our variable cost when we replace 700 mufflers is 28000 And again, you're taking the 700 and multiplying that by the variable cost per unit. And then if you add both your fixed and variable cost, you'll arrive at the total cost, in this case, at 84000 right, If you go down to your fixed cost per unit, all right, that is obtained by taking your fixed cost, your total fixed cost of 56,000 and dividing by 700. Right, the variable cost will remain the same, in this case, $40. Let's take a look at what happens when uh, Mighty Mufflers is replacing 600 mufflers. Again, our fixed costs remain the same or constant, so they will be 56,000. Our variable cost at this level of activity will be the 600 multiplied by our variable cost per unit, or $40, to arrive at $24,000. Right? Again, our total cost when we are replacing 600 mufflers is $80,000. Our fixed cost per unit, again, if you take the $56,000 and divide by $600, you'll get $93.33. Our variable cost per unit remain the same, so that will be $40. And you can see that's the total cost per muffler replacement when we are uh, replacing 600 units or 600 mufflers. And let's take a look at 800 mufflers being replaced. And the fixed cost, they remain the same. They are constant, 56,000. Our variable cost, again, we're going to take 800 and multiply that by 40 to arrive at 32,000. When we are replacing 800 mufflers, our costs are 88,000. Right, and our fixed cost per unit will be $70. Again, we arrive at that by taking our total fixed cost and dividing it by 800 mufflers being replaced. Our variable cost per unit remains the same, or $40. So that when we are replacing 800 mufflers, our cost per muffler is 110. For most companies operating at almost Zero or 100% capacity is the exception rather than the rule. Instead, most companies often operate over somewhat of a narrower range, such as 40 to 80% capacity. Again, you can see that 48 to 80% capacity being represented in the purple, right, on both total variable cost and fixed cost. Right. The range over which a company expects to operate is referred to as that relevant range. Within the relevant range, as both diagrams show, a straight line relationship generally exists for both variable and fixed cost. Oh, we have one more thing to talk about. Mixed cost. All right, a mixed cost is going to have both a variable element and a fixed element. All right, these changes are going to occur in total, but not proportionately with changes in the activity level. A great example is 
um, a U-Haul. If any of you have ever rented a U-Haul, um, if you think about it, there's a charge per day, but there's an also a certain amount per mile. So when you determine the cost of a one-day rental, the per day charge is a fixed cost, right? whereas the mileage charge is a variable cost. Again, in the graphic presentation that you see before you, you can see that that fixed cost of $50, again, that's what it costs per day, right? And then you can, that's the fixed cost element. And then you can see the more miles we drive, again, the higher those variable costs will be. All right, in this exercise, I would like you to identify the 12 costs as being either variable, fixed, or mixed. Right? And the solutions will be um, provided in the next video.